So welcome to the next episode of my series on the GTA mobile game for multiplayer and so on. And I ask you guys what should I do next in my GTA mobile tutorial series and 55% of you requested the car physics which I already done. And the next one was car networking. And here you see the result. The car is in both clients. The complete animation is synced. The first thing we do is just delete the car because we have to instantiate it so that it's in sync in the network. So we are asking if the photon view, uh, oh no, uh, photo network is master client and only the master client should instantiate it. So photo network instantiate scene object because as soon as the master is leaving the room the object should stay in the room. So we um, take the name of the prefab and we should make sure that it's in a resource folder so um, Photon can actually access it. Um, we set it to a random position like this one. Uh, no rotation and that's it. We just created a car and the master. So the master created the car and every other client gets the update. If we are dealing with the uh, animations, so the enter and the exit animation, we should also sync our state. So we go to the network player and say, okay, we have to send something and this is the player state. And we should receive the state if we are listening. So this is a new state. And it should be player dot player state. And now we check if the new state over the network is transition and it was uh, normal before. This means the player will enter the car. So we call the enter car animation. Otherwise, if the new state is transition and the player was in the car, we exit the car. In the fixed update method, we have to sync the state or use the state, for example. Use gravity and main collider were enabled and disabled in the animation. Now we should do it in this loop. Okay, let's sync the car. So the car has a car physics script and uh, we change the money behavior and set this money behavior pun and I observable interface on it. Uh, we implement the interface and let's go there and add some code. So, if the stream is writing and it's not mine, then return. So, only one player uh, has the right to send the stream for a car. And when it sends, it sends the input, the current state, the position, rotation, velocity and angular velocity. And every other client will get the information, so the forward, the steer and the state. And we will store the position and rotation in a variable called network. So we have to define network here. It's just a structure with position and rotation. It holds the current position and rotation in the network. So we have to compute it somehow. So here we go, position and rotation. We get it from the network and the velocity and angular velocity as well. And then we do some kind of log lag compensation I did a video on lag compensation before. So here we will calculate the lag. Um, if you want to know more about lag uh, compensation, I will give you a video note in the upper right corner right now. So you can click on it and have a deeper look. We will just use a lag and add the rigid body velocity times the lag to the position to guess the position in the network. On fixed update, we have to add some lines of code. If photon view is not mine, this means it is a client that is not controlling the car right now. The position and rotation will be set. So it will be set uh, as a value between the current position and the actual client and the network position. So it will move, move towards the um, network position and the same for network rotation. The code is a direct copy uh, 
from the docs of Photon. Here it is. Um, you can read it. It's actually well described here and it's really a one-to-one -one copy. You should have a look at it. So the last thing we have to care about is who is controlling the car. I changed the entire car um, method a little bit. So if the player is in the car, it switches the state and just um, play the exit animation. And here is the difference. So if the nearest car is free and we actually have a reference to it and the state of the player is normal, then we can enter the car. And here is this code we already have written in a previous episode and this is a new line. And this means the photon view of the car physics has a method called transfer ownership. And you can transfer ownership to any other player. And this means this player can ask photon view is mine. For example, here is mine. And this will return to on only one client, only on the owner. And with this line of code, I will make the current line who's executing this line the owner. This means as soon as you are in the car, you are the owner of the car and you control it. And the local player doesn't feel any lags or something because he is only locally in the car and spread out the information to the other clients that he is now the owner and the other clients just sync the state. And here we go. We have our two clients uh, with a very high lag. I maintained a very high lag so that you can see it actually works. So I go to the car with this client and the other client goes here. And this client goes in. You can see the animation is played on both sides and the car drives. I hope you liked the video and see you next time.